morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really, really good, thank you. And um, yeah. let's hope that this morning we are, fingers crossed, problem free. <laughs> I really so, hope so. Yeah, um, so good morning. So sorry about yesterday evening's event. Um, it was not the company that we use, it was their platform provider. Uh, so there was some issue um, and it took until 10 o'clock last night to solve. So hopefully we are okay. Um, so huge apologies, but we've always pro promised that with Goggle Frogs, we will be here just about every day. And we did carry on. We did, we carried on regardless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And for those of you that missed it, watch the replay or go to the YouTube channel and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. And I can't even watch it because apparently people thought I was under the... Um, it looked as if I was under the... <laughs> under my desk. desk. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't watched the replay. I don't know whether I dare. I think that may just be what that I will lead. <laughs> Um, and the technical issues didn't stop there for me either, did they, Angela? Because then I carried on doing work on our next event and that didn't go to plan either, did it? Well, we got there. You I got think there. I messaged you at about 11 o'clock to say, I'm done now, good night. <laughs> I know, I know. So, uh, but this is Goggle Frog. So um, it's knit and nutter, it's real life stuff. And yeah, definitely. officially, it is week. 17 18 today is week 17 so we're officially on week 17 of lockdown because our lovely little knitting and nutter groups got cancelled uh we decided to go online so hopefully you've been creating some things uh so sit back hopefully you've got your cup of tea your cup of coffee your cup of water whatever you want Somewhere in the world, it will be gin o'clock. Gin o'clock. It depends what time zone you're in. Oh, well done! Um, I will have my goggle frog mug back next week. Um, so yeah, so just sit and relax. Myself and Robert will chat for England anyway. Claire's not joining us today, um, and this is what we do five days a week. So yeah, and Robert is in a different location altogether today. Uh, welcome to my boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, Gary is working from home. Today is his last day before he joins me on holiday. So he's currently in the office, so I can't use the office. Uh, and Gary's mum is currently with us, so I can't use my craft room because that's where she is sleeping. And she is currently downstairs in the living room in her pyjamas which is why I can't do it down there either. So the only other room that I have left, apart from bathrooms, is my bedroom. So, hi, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> and I did think, oh, maybe I should have gone into the spare room upstairs and we could have just done a boudoir goggle frogs. Um, but then I realised that my husband's in the other room um, sleeping. Um, so, and as I have rather a loud, booming voice, I would probably have got very excited at some point and... Um, Welcome the poor guy up. So um, yes, so uh, my my laugh, my dulcet tones do travel through even these thick walls in this house. So um, yeah, so never mind. But hopefully you've got your knitting with you, and um, yeah, and, and are creating something new. So this is my little cardigan for my little niece. So um, mm. we wanted something rainbow. So I think it's rainbow esque. So we'll see what it's like at the end. Um, yeah, but really enjoying knitting again because you know I, I love knitting. That's my go-to. And crochet, I always have to really concentrate. <laughs> uh, right, let's say some good morning. Yeah. We have uh Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. Morning. We have Marion and Marion. Good morning, Marion. Good morning. We have Lindy. Good morning, Lindy. Morning. We have Linda Ellis. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. We have Judy. Good morning, Judy. Morning. Morning, Jackie. Good morning. Uh, happy day number four of holiday. Uh, my phone's ringing. Good morning, Georgie. Morning. 
Uh, we have Deborah. Good morning, Deborah. Morning. We have Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. Morning. We have David. Good morning, David. Morning. And finally, we have the lovely Brigitte. Good morning, Brigitte. And thank you for joining us this morning for a quick test test session to make sure that it was all working. <sighs> um let's do chat Ricky says morning lindy says morning judy says hello everyone dawn says hello nice to see you georgie says morning lovely people brigitte says it was quite funny really um tracy says up i'm in halfway through the reply now linda says good morning one and all lindy says managed to see bits on replay Jackie says, good morning. Sorry I missed yesterday. No apologies needed, Jackie. It was not your fault. It was the uh, server, that the company that we use. Yeah. Having problems. Uh, Marion says, good morning. David says, morning, everybody. Georgie says, posh mug you're drinking out of, Robert. Yes, thank you. It is posh mug, isn't it? And uh, it's now very, very exclusive because we have sold out <gasps> of mugs. Um, Although, if there is the demand, we may, in a few weeks, get some more made. Um, Lindy says, nice that Gary's mum is visiting you, Robert. Yes, it is nice. <laughs> but um, I'm going to leave it at that because she's signed up. Whether she watches or not, I don't know. But uh, yes, it's very nice that she's here. Uh, David says, at Robert, it's like the film In Bed With Madonna. Not seen it, David, sorry. Uh, Georgie says, lovely colours of your knitting, Angela, and Deborah says, good morning. Thank you. Good morning, all. Uh, somebody else snuck in who snuck in. I can't see. Maybe they snuck in while I was reading them out anyway. Um, right. Should we do some music? That would be rather nice. This is the music that you were going to play last night, is it? No. No? All oh, right. No. Okay. I'm going to save that for next Wednesday because it's um, it's one you should definitely have with a tipple. Okay. And it's definitely an evening music, not a first thing in the morning music. Okay. So okay. Let's try something a bit more subdued, a bit more appropriate, uh, given what happened last night as well. Here we go, folks. Enjoy. yourselves back up and <laughs> got on with it. <laughs> just one of those things, yeah. just roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what they do on the TV, isn't it? They just see the cut to commercial or just get on with it. So, why shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It was funny. I, I may even watch it. I may watch it, you know. It'd be fun. <laughs> so, oh, so that's looking very nice again, Robert. You're missing. Yep. Looking lovely. That's really lovely. Oh. I wish I was as quick a knitter as you, though. I can't believe you've done that much. And considering you frogged it all as well. Three times. Tuesday, Yeah, knitting is my go-to. It's the thing I, I'm very slow at crochet because it's not my natural. Um, so I can do a, a little square in about an hour, but it's just not natural for me. So, um, and to be honest, I, I haven't really sat down and knitted very much at all. When you sit down, you think, "Oh, I've only done two rows, and I've been sat here half an hour." But I was more engrossed in the TV program. Uh, than getting on with knitting so um yeah but it's growing this i think just because it's four millimeter needles mm. so the four mil is just lovely what what needles are you using three <laughs> i think that was done on three my hat it's just the first time i've used them i think yeah, take a long time. That's fine. But yeah, I don't know what the next color change is going to be. So hopefully, um, 
I don't know. What, do, what colour do you think is going to come next in the rainbow changes? Because I've got a clue. I'm only asking. What did you start with? Got orange, green, blue. And I don't know what comes next. I think it'll be yellow or pink. Don't know. Well, you can see the balls. So that's a bit unfair. No, the ball's in a bag. I, you know me, I always have my ball in a bag so it doesn't unravel. So I have no idea what's going to be next. the next colour. How sad am I? <laughs> I think it might go purple, then pink. Purple. We'll see. I'll have to knit quickly then so I can see what the next colour is. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right. So, um, let's do some chat. Um, David says, at Robert, it was in reference to you broadcasting from your bed. The movie was a documentary about Madonna on tour. There wasn't any knitting involved. Still doesn't, don't, no, don't recall it at all. Um, Brigitte says, at David, no knitting. Well, that's a surprise. And then she says, very good song. Georgie says, very good, enjoyed that. Um, Brigitte says, I've had to pick myself up a few times in my life, but it's the only way. True. Absolutely. Uh, Rebecca says, oh, in bed with Madonna. Hi, Rebecca. Um, and then Dawn says at David Paula Yates used to do in bed with Paula interview George Michael and Michael Hutchinson. Oh, interesting. Uh, Lindy says um, at, great piece of music, good way of conducting life. Yeah, yeah. And just leave the past to yesterday. Don't even be phased about it. Don't be embarrassed about it. Really don't apologise for it any more than you have to. So just get off. So really, really good way of living life. Tracy says, having watched part of the replay from last night, Claire gave me a great idea regarding a piece of work I showed you, Angela, the other day. I might frog the other ball that I added to it and have a smaller neck warmer instead of a shawl. As loved the first ah. wall and the way it's striped, but not the second. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Sally is here. Morning, Sally. Uh, and she's all loving the colours, Angela. Thank you. And Tracy, uh, I can't wait to see that Tracy has done some beautiful work and she bought some wool from America uh, that, and she ran out of it. So then she went into another oh. one. She didn't quite like it and i said well if you get something similar you could do that on the other side but claire's given a brilliant idea which is great um and i can't wait to see it but it's a beautiful crochet pattern that she's using she says it's really simple but you you know me and crochet it's just like I, I can crochet but i don't find it um quick uh, so it will be beautiful whatever you do so i'm glad you've got an idea and inspiration for that so that's brilliant Hmm. Uh, Rebecca says at David it was on that tour she met Kevin Costner and that led him she sorry she was mean about Kevin Costner and that led him to casting Whitney Houston in the bodyguard rather than Madonna what goes around comes around wow I never knew that uh, and David says indeed at Rebecca and at dawn Paula fell in love with Michael on that bed that's when their love affair started <sighs> Wow. Who knew? Uh, and Tracy says, it is simple, honest. It's called Crystal Waves. Oh, right, okay. Oh, Anne. Hi, morning, Anne. Morning. I managed to arrive after a third try this morning. Oh. Sorry to hear that, Anne. Um, I think it may just be a glitch like Brigitte sometimes has where it doesn't let her in or it kicks her out and then she has to come back. Rebecca has similar problems as well. So I'm really sorry, but it's not the server this, it's not the server this time. Uh, Tracy says, well, I'm glad as I love Whitney and don't think Madonna would have been half as good. 
No, I don't think she would have been either. I don't think she could have, I don't think Madonna would have sounded anywhere as good singing that song. No, she wouldn't have done. Not that I can remember what it is. Oh, I will always love you. Yeah. The bodyguard, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that song was everywhere and oh, it was played and played and played and played and um, yeah. I love, I love Dolly's version. It's got quite a country twang to it. It's very nice. Yeah. She, Whitney's got a fabulous voice. She really, sorry, had a fabulous voice. She really had. But I, I just think that, that that was played so often, so often, so often. It was just everywhere. And um, yeah. It's a bit like the Titanic song, isn't it? That. Do you know what? Yes. And what was the other thing about Prince of Thieves? So there's that one that was number one. For... Yeah. Um, oh, Brian Some Adams. Song, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but all of those songs where they were such big hits, you can sort of listen to it years after and really appreciate it. But after at the time, it was like, is there anything else going to be played on the radio? <laughs> 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 so Brigitte says, uh -uh, and I used to do that a lot. Uh, sorry, chat's just gone. Uh, at some sessions, however, last night I was one of the few who had no problem at all. Just do the okie pokey. And says, it lets me in with still photos, so I have to shut down and try again. Ah. Uh. Jackie says she likes both versions. Um, I'm guessing that's of um, Whitney and Dolly's. I will always love you. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca says, yes, everything I do, I do it for you. Yeah. Uh, by Brian Adams. That's it, Brian Adams. Brigitte says, I agree with Robert. Dolly's version was better in my books. Linda says, I hate Whitney singing that song. She, uh, uh, Dolly sings it with far more emotion. Um, Marion says, and, and sometimes it depends on whether how you use to access it, Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer. Ah, oh, I hadn't thought about that actually. That's a really good point. Um, um, if the software, if if your internet provider hasn't done a software update or has done a software update that affects Demio, that might be why that causes some problems. But last night was definitely a Demio problem. Yeah. Um, Chrome is always the preferred. Um, browser yeah so. one says um at linda dolly all the way love her voice um so i went to see um nine to five on stage last year for my friend's 60th birthday who loves country and western and dolly parton um and what's really nice is at the beginning uh dolly is shown on screens and sings nine to five with the cast and then says, okay, so here we're gonna talk about a story from my past. And then the cast carry on with her story and make the film uh, version of the show. Uh, and then yeah. she comes back at the end to join in with the finale, which is nine to five again. Aww. So uh, yeah, really good. Um, Trisha says, morning all, logging in from the Guild Collection, testing our new Wi-Fi. Ooh. Good morning, Trisha from uh, the Guild. And I hope the Wi-Fi test goes well. It's a good job you didn't try it last night. <laughs> From the unpronounceable name place. Where is it? Britannia Mills? No. But, wait, That's the old place, slow, isn't it? Slow it. Slow it. Slaithwaite. Slow it. Slaithwaite. No, it's pronounced slow it. <laughs> <laughs> no, to us governors, it's Slaithwaite. <laughs> Exactly, the north south, south divide of where, <laughs> where it is, what the town's called. Oh, dear. David, and what do you call it? Slough it or slave weight? <laughs> One for slave weight, two for slough it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's funny, it's funny. Oh. So I hope you're doing lots and lots and lots of crafting and getting lots of time to to still chill and relax because I know that the world is making 
tiny little baby steps towards getting back to normal but i really hope you're all um still investing lots and lots of time in yourself and getting lots of rest and and crafting time because it's really good for us oh um right let's oh there's lots of chat about pronunciation <laughs> I think we've started something there. Um, right, uh, let me just refresh the Facebook page. We are going to go through everything today. Oh, I'm so glad that I can see what I missed. Uh, just give me a second. There we go. I can't believe that picture was taken nearly 17 weeks ago. I know. Seems so long ago. It does. We'll have to take another one at some point. Definitely. The next time we can do a, a Goggle Frogs together, we will. Yeah. Because although okay. we've seen each other since. Huh? Yeah, although we've seen each other this week, we haven't really been able to do a goggle frogs have we not in that no. conversation no so um linda phillips has posted a black work embroidery created from a photograph and a very dodgy sketched outline for a moving gift to my son and his family about eight years ago oh wow amazing that is and remember folks today is freehand thursday and what a way to start that is just wow just Absolutely. Um, Linda says, work in progress. When, uh, Wednesday, the back sleeves have been knitted first. Now the Intarsia Rudolph front is on the way. I've changed his face and colour. Oh, wow. Look at that. Aww. And considering this time last week, it was only a project. It hadn't been started. It's done amazing. Yeah, really. Uh, Marion says, uh, guess who is frogging? Yep. Uh, me, Latvian jumper joined in the next game and realized <coughs> we're going the wrong way. So not only do I have the frog knitting, but rewind the yarn. Happy days. Oh dear. Oh. Um, Safia says, so I know it's work in progress Wednesday, but I just finished my love note and couldn't wait for Saturday. I love it. That is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Um, Deborah posted a picture yesterday of a knitting cake. That's lovely. It is lovely. I love the tape measure. Tape I measure? Wonder, yeah, can you not see the tape measure around the bottom? Oh, I haven't spotted that. I wonder if it's to scale. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Uh, and then in there, I also posted the picture of the cake you made me for my 40th. Oh, thank you. Which is beautiful. And I've still got those balls of wool somewhere. And you've still got, what are those other things? I always call them moomings, but from your... Those. Those, yes. Impossimals. Impossimals. And you made me say my staggette cake. Yeah, yeah. And I had no idea what an impossible was. And he kept saying it, thinking, I have no idea. Um, so I eventually found them. But yeah. And then there's a picture of a cake that Fran had for her 60th. I love the fact that the balls have got sponge inside. I do. <laughs> Great um, idea. Hmm. So apologies for last night. Uh, Angela couldn't get into the room either. And that's my fault because I told her to leave. <laughs> um, we have Linda Ellis, US work in progress. It's a King Cole pattern for a jacket, which I bought in Sheringham. Note the design feature at the bottom, i.e. mistake. Not a mistake, makes it unique. Yes. And I can't uh -huh. do it. 
¿no? Entonces. Sí. Um, celebrations because we hit our 100 as we were live last night, which is absolutely amazing. Yay. And it was literally as we went live because we were on 99 about 10 minutes before it. Yeah, you were. Um, Rebecca's posted work in progress Wednesday. This is the latest update to Domino Blanket. Top roll marks the start of the row I have done most recently. I have also been working on sewing and threads. That's a job and a half. Yes, definitely. I hate sewing in threads. Um, that's an old post. That's about last night. Uh, Deborah says, just received my Google for goodies. So impressed by the quality of the bag. Thanks for the speedy postage, Robert. Very kind to join you tonight. Have Trivial Pursuit game with friends. Oh, glad you uh, enjoyed it. And, and I'm really glad that you're pleased with them. Yes. Uh, yeah. Rowena has posted a charity appeal for hats for premature babies. Oh. You do get involved if you'd like to. Uh, Brigitte says there's another pair of socks or needles. The yarn is much deeper green with various of coffee brown shades than in the picture. Uh, it would not photograph true to colour. The yarn was gifted by Marianne. Thank you. They were still work in progresses until lunchtime. Wow. Uh, Marion, third work in progress. Young, given to me by my hairdresser. His mother likes the colours, so doing a workday scarf, which he can then give back to his mum for Christmas. Oh, how nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, Marion, aunt's cardigan, my second work in progress. New pattern and yarn, which is more subtle in real life. Hope she likes it. Only a four row pattern, but keep going, uh, getting row one wrong so easy to do um marianne again latvian work in progress is now split into front and back currently working on the front get in there love those colors they are stunning um, fran awaiting buttons so still a work in progress right baby jacket knitted from the katia earth yarn i bought from the charity auction um that was at the virtual regional day still needs a little trip under a cool iron, lovely yarn to work with, and miles long of five balls. I have very nearly three left. Um, wow. 52% virgin wool, 48% recycled plastic bottles. That is good. Oh, that one. I've yeah. got some of that. That looks lovely. Yeah. Right, stitch definition. Thank you for showing that. Yeah, that's really nice. Deborah ordered this yesterday as well as a mini skein of the turquoise that someone showed yesterday from Mothy and Squid. Uh, and accidentally I ordered one as well. Most <gasps> <laughs> um, of who that was, Deborah. Yeah. Uh, did a baby sock knitting class on Zoom last night. Can knit socks, but wanted to get some help with DPNs, fiddly but worth it, I think. That looks so cute. Uh, and then we've shown most of these. I th oh, no, we didn't. Uh, Dawn, work in progress Wednesday, two, two shawls on the go. So that's the playful and the work day. That one we've done. I think, yes, I think we're all caught up. Go. Um, let's go back to chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Anne says she's using Safari on an iPad and try downloading Chrome and using Chrome to log in instead. See whether that fixes your issues. Um, Jackie, I use Chrome, but when you play the songs, you both freeze, then I have to log out and come back in again. Had the same with Safari uh, technology, yes. Unfortunately, we are kind of too used to it now to say, go away. Um, <laughs> on it. But it does make you wonder how we coped without it. Uh, Lindy says, we Southerners use Robert's pronunciation. 
and David says, with an owit, uh, it's a lovely place. Brigitte says, don't get me started on pronouncing British names of towns. <laughs> it's just not, it's not just names of towns, is it? It's people's surnames as well. Um, the, the number of people who miss the W in my name and call me Rolly, uh, and then either say Rowley, uh, yeah. And Gary's got a, um, a funny surname as well. His surname is Cowdry, but people will say Cowdry because that's how it's spelled. Oh. Even though it doesn't sound right. I never ever thought of that. <laughs> no, I know. And it's right. when when people write his name and they've never seen it written before, they'll write D R E Y instead of D R Y. Oh. Um, Anne says in North, you pick up what the locals say. Okay. Uh, Marion says I got told off by a Yorkshireman on board a ship, so now I pronounce it the Yorkshire way. Uh, Trisha says your hair looks good. Did Alan say anything about your hair? I think it. Um, no. <laughs> Typical man. <laughs> no. And I take myself in that because I notice when ladies have their hair done, but when Gary goes and gets his done, I don't notice. Um, Brigitte says I love that embroidery. Uh, Jackie says was my yarn mentioned yesterday? Um... Oh, I can't remember. I thought that was Tuesday. Or did you post it Tuesday? Was it the um, the the mint chop chip one? Yeah. Oh, let's show it then. I will. Just in case we've missed it. Yeah, you just need to bear with me while I find it. That's all right. Yeah, it was um, two beautiful colours. Sorry, having a moment. Here we go. Uh, right, there we go. So, Jackie, my yarns from Spectrum Fiber, both are double knit. No idea what I'm going to make, but they're lovely and squishy. They're gorgeous. That does yeah. look like some chalk chip. Um, so I've suggested that he does a version of this with the purple, um, or the workday scarf with some of it, or the playful to merge the two colours together. So, Jackie, do let us know what you're going to do. Yeah, we can't wait to see it. Or see. Huh? Or see. Um, oh, very nearly lost all my stitches then. Oh no, that is so awful when that happens. I know, it just, I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, so um, we were going to talk to people about something last night, weren't we? Yeah. Go on, you start. No. No? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so I know that we've been um, together for some time, but we had a little bit of an idea. This is what you're talking about, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Do you, do you want to say it then, just in case I've got to say the wrong thing? Go on, go on. So basically, folks, we're working on lots of things in the background to keep um, Global Frogs alive and to keep bringing you the things that you're, you keep asking for. Uh, so um, we have... We said we had an event in June, which was the launch of the merch, which you all asked for. Uh, and so we're going to have an event on Saturday the 25th. Yes, of July. Half past 10 to 12 o'clock. Yes, we're in the morning on a Saturday. Saturday. And extending it.
because yeah. we are going to bring you some very 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 exclusive and exciting wool yes <laughs> i'm so excited i can't wait um we've managed to find a couple of suppliers that we're going to use uh so we're only going with one this time around but the idea is is that we'll start to drip feed in some others as we go through uh and we will show you uh we will give you the opportunity to um buy uh some of the 2021 range from the supplier that we're talking to it's beautiful isn't it some of the it, stuff it is. and it is we've We've seen something. Um, we've been sent something. We, we had sort of got, well, Robert had got in touch with them. And then when I had a conversation, people within the company have no idea that what is coming out yet. But we've got wind of it. And we've seen <laughs> something that we just think is so beautiful. Um, like both of us have quite different styles. Robert loves variegated color changes. I like plain color. Um, even though today we're in the opposite way around, aren't we, clothing wise? Because I've got different colors. Yeah. But, um, but we both saw this wall, and we just thought it's stunning. And the way how it just makes up is just stunning. But it is so so new it's not even out yet um so um we thought that's something that we could do we can you know it, it we're looking at buying one thing so we can bring you one thing and an offer or maybe a couple of things um and we just want to be able to share and get hold of beautiful stuff for you so yeah, so we're going to give it a go. Uh, we thought, why not? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's life at Lider Work. Or it won't. But the two of us were just so bowled over by it. And we just thought, it's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah. And uh, people are already asking, what type of yard is it? Um, we can't really tell you because then you'll kind of start guessing who it is that we're going to yeah. um but i think there will be quite a variety in there yeah um, we've picked variegated cakes bolds four plies uh double knits chunkies um so yes we're quite excited uh and that will be on saturday the 25th um, yeah. I know that is Fiber East as well, uh, but the, the reason why we picked that weekend is because it's payday weekend, uh, and we know that um, lots of you buy wool over payday weekend, so we'd like you to have advance notice uh, and maybe earmark some pennies to treat yourself. Yeah, and we we are we are trying to work in a slightly different way so rather than we, we want to try and work on um so that we can make it as uh, as affordable as possible for people um so we we hope to be able to bring you things at a very 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 good price so that's what we're trying to do so um bear with us and uh, we think we've picked some beautiful stuff so uh that's just to let you know so you heard I, it here first i did just drop all those stitches oh no no <laughs> um <laughs> brigitte says she thinks she's gonna have to start saving up again <laughs> um rebecca says my husband has sabotaged my macbook as soon as we started talking about buying yarn it shut down <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lindy says yarn sounds really exciting is my yarn duck going to be under attack again quite possibly <laughs> i really think you're going to struggle lindy to not um partake <sighs> yeah if you if you want to be really really strict we could probably ban you from the shop uh and then that way you never get it 
yeah, yeah. So that when you try and log on to gogglefrogs.co.uk, it says no, Lindy, you can't go in here. Yeah. So we <laughs> <laughs> um, But it's just um, again, th there's certain things that we love that we really, really like, and um, if you see something that we really like, and the fact that even the industry doesn't know that it's coming out. It's just like, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll try and grab that then because the colors are just out of this world. So that's what we've done. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we've, we, we, we've had our conversations, we're in conversations and um, even the people that buy enough have no idea what we're talking about because they're not aware of it yet. Only the top people in the company are. So we're, we're going to bring it to you as soon as we can, and that's why we want to just get our order in straight away and um, and try and bulk buy and be able to pass that on to you guys as well. So a little bit of that on to you guys. So, um, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll work as economically as we can do. Um, yeah. So it should be really exciting. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But... Um, if not, we're bathing in wool forever, Robert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Lindy says you are such rotten enablers. Great fun. <laughs> Dawn says, good job. I'm doing all this work. Going to be an expensive July. <laughs> Honestly, when you see it, you, you, you'll know what we mean. You, you really will. It's, it's, it's quite different. And both of us were, wow. So, um, yeah, and we can't say any more than that because if you do, you'll start to get an idea of what it's going to be and we just want you to be able to see the, the beauty of how this thing knits. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, so. And Linda says, so long as that doesn't apply to Linda's. No, not Linda, <laughs> Lindy. <laughs> Don't worry. Lindy's been on a yarn diet for so long. She has. Um, and But Lindy just creates the most beautiful stuff so i think she has got one of those real quality stashes anyway um but yeah i know that you've been on your yarn diet for so so long so um yeah it'll just be it'll just be exciting and fun um and it'd be really nice to see what people create with it as well but um yeah i'm looking forward to doing it so i need to finish off a couple of projects before we get to later this month so if i finish this um yeah i'm gonna have to work quick aren't i <laughs> well there is a solution to that angela what's that i just don't let you have any of the wool that's see impossible the, <laughs> see the guy in control of the stock <laughs> <laughs> and it'll all be sat here. I just won't let you have any of it. Oh, that's not bad. No, it, no, it's, it's. I'm definitely having some. I know the colour, I know the shade. I just don't know how many I need yet. <laughs> but I'm def, I'm definitely have ordering and buying some of that because it is is amazing. So. Um. Uh. Brigitte says, Lindy and Jane Barton are wicked partners in crime. Yeah, they are. They are. Deborah says, uh, what we're talking about sounds great. Uh, Brigitte <laughs> says, my remark went down like a lead balloon. <laughs> and they say, a picture paints a thousand words. And that face said it all, really, didn't it? <laughs> um, Lindy says, that would be really mean, Robert. Good job you're such good friends. He, he does this to me so often. He says, I can't do something. I just sit there and go. <laughs> when Alan tells me I'm not allowed to do something, I'll say, who's going to stop me? <laughs> oh, dear, that's so funny. But, yeah, so it should be really exciting. So, um, yeah, we'll get all of that set up soon. So, so uh, just to cover that again, that was Saturday, 25th of July. 10 30 till 12. yes and we'll do normal goggle frogs um to start with and then we'll crack on with the wall um after music and facebook i think yeah um 
Jackie says that Brigitte in agree I agree with what you say about Jane and Lindy being bad influences Marion also agrees and yet I think you're quite a bad influence me yeah with what whoa oh just need to go into uh the spotted sheep for a minute okay I'm not buying anything and then a couple of balls later Oh, I know. Look, I love I love going into the spot of cheap. I absolutely love it because there's just so many beautiful things that you can buy. So I love going in there. <coughs> um, I think I think I've been in there once or twice and not bought stuff. Um, but only once or twice. I, I think my fellow goggle froggers would support me with saying we want CCTV proof of that ever happening. <laughs> Do not believe you. Um, go in that shop without buying. Well, sometimes I've no, honestly, in in their defence, there are times when I've gone in there. Certainly, if I've like bought my cat and my wool from there, and I've I've come across a bit of a difficult bit, or don't quite know how to do something, I'll go in there and I will spot something else. I say, oh. And the number of times Jackie has said, you have got enough of our stuff, go home and finish that first. And she has said to that to me on several occasions. Um, but yeah, I do have so much of their stuff. But I love the fact that you can get something really, you know, reasonable in there and you can get something quite expensive in there as well. And that's the problem is when my, you know, when I walk in there, suddenly my eye will just spot a new Noro. Mm. It's, I have to get out. I, I have to go then because if not, I'm going to spend too much money. Well, I don't know what's happening outside. Oh, never mind. Sorry. There is some metal scraping along the road outside, but I don't know if it's not now. Okay. Oh. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Huh? What are you doing with yourself today? I have no idea. I think I'm waiting for the internet people to arrive. They were supposed to be here yesterday or today. So I, I'm just waiting around for them. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this. Got a little bit, of, quite a lot of goggle frog stuff to do behind the scenes. Um, so there's always goggle frog stuff to do. Um, what else? Oh, there's just loads and loads and loads of things to do. But I am going to try and finish the back of this today um and then two sleeves two fronts so three days should be enough to finish this yeah so that'll be exciting what are you doing today um my car has to go for its mot so i'm going to take that after goggle frogs right um and then i might take uh mother-in-law to lay buzz to just have a mooch around yeah um i don't take it to milton Keynes because that becomes very expensive for me oh um what, what? Uh, and then probably just knitting and also yeah. some goggle frog stuff yeah yeah but the bus is quite nice and leisurely to walk around, isn't it? It's it's nice and small. Oh, and um, Starbucks is open now. Right, okay. For coffee. Starbucks? Have we got Starbucks? No, um, the other thing. Costa? No, the other one at the bottom. Nero. Nero. Yeah. They had some of the tables open so you can actually sit in and have a drink, so... Okay. The world is turning. Oh, and just to let you know, the next colour is Jackie's colour. It's purple. So, yeah, on to purple now. Um, yeah, did I, go, I did go in yesterday because I thought oh, I might pop in for Mama Rosa's for lunch, but Mama Rosa's doesn't look open yet. So, never mind. I'll, I'll save me pennies until things open. They're doing takeaway. 
I know, but I just want to sit in there and just, you know, go back to a bit of normality. Yeah. So, but hey ho. I think we're um. I think we're going to go out Saturday night for dinner. Are you? Where were you thinking so, of going? Well, we're we're toying with going to the cinema with mum. So we were thinking we might go to um because Cineworld in the centre is closed we have to go to Odeon uh, right. so we thought we might try Nando's or TGI's ah. um I'm hoping Nando's because if we go to TGI's then I'll end up drinking a lot <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this will be one of the occasions where Gary goes it's all right i'll drive you can drink and i will just say okay thank you yeah yeah oh <laughs> um, uh right so chat box says brigitte says the biggest surprise of a shop i had uh was in angers on the cross stitch guild tour the frontage was almost half the size of the spotted sheep and when you went in it was bigger than the area of tesco's Filled the rafters with cross stitch stuff, accessories, and yarn as far as the eyes could see. Wow. And where was that? Where was that? that? Where uh, was that? Angers. Got to find out where that is. Definitely. And whether it's still there. Um, Marion says, Since when has Goggle Frogs been carrying out MOTs? <laughs> 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 uh, sadly, the, the the goggle frogs delivery bot needs a car, which means it's got to be MOT'd. Um, Dawn says Sorelli's is open. Ah. Uh, Rebecca says, "Did we get a reminder about MOTs?" I just realised I have no idea when mine is was due. No, we don't get reminders at all. However, the government did give you a six month extension, um, but you don't get to do what you normally do with an mot where if you go before the mot is due and it fails you can still drive the car if it fails you cannot drive the car other than getting repairs carried out uh, and i'm not quite sure what happens to the mot date whether it goes back to when it should have been or whether you get a year from then um i just realized that when i took mine to get mot last week as I was driving to um, the, um, I don't know, what, well, the garage thing, um, a, a stone hit my windscreen and cracked my windscreen. So I've got a, a long, like, eight or nine inch crack in my windscreen. And oh, as I dear. turned up, huh? Oh dear. I know. So I said, oh, yeah, I'm here for the MOT, but just to let you know, when did it run out anyway? Because it was during lockdown. And my screen's just cracked on the way here, and they just said, it will fail. You need to get that done first. I said, I'm really sorry. Can I cancel the MOT and come back? So it's on Wednesday, so I need to book Autoglass to replace my windscreen or do whatever. So I must ring them and get that done. Yeah, you must, because otherwise, when do you go up? Uh, Sunday. Right, so you should probably book it in for Monday or Tuesday then, because you won't be able to get yeah. it down here now. Why not? No. Oh my gosh. It's Thursday, Angela. It's usually a three to four day lead time. Is it? Yeah. Oh well. Uh, okay, that's Brigitte says Angers is in France. Oh right, okay, thank you. Is it a day trip though? Yeah, which part of France? Because we could do it. If it's north, else, yeah, we could do it, but if it's south we wouldn't would we? Oh no, no, no. Uh, uh, Brigitte says, Brigitte says, no, not a day trip. Oh, okay. okay. Damn. Look, maybe we could do a 24 hour drive with us alternately driving. Possibly. <laughs> I thought of you this morning. Why? And, uh, well, I, I lit my incense burner. Oh. So for those of you that don't know, when I went to Bruges last year, uh, Angela and I, sorry, Angela goes to Bruges all the time. 
Angela and I went to Bruges a few years ago for my birthday, which was lovely. Um, and I'll be back in one minute. That's all right. And last year, I took Gary to Bruges, and in Bruges, they have this lovely Christmas shop. Um, and in the Christmas shop, they sell incense burners of all sorts of different animals. Well, they had a cat knitting, and um, I loved it. Gary loved it. Uh, and so I bought one for Angela for her birthday, but then that meant that I couldn't get mine out until Angela had had hers. So, and you take his top off and the incense sits, incense sits inside him. They're amazing, aren't they? I just thought I'd grab it. One of those on this morning. I still have no sense of smell, so I can't smell anything, but never mind. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, that's when it's already been used. We must be about on time, but so you just light it. And this little plume of smoke comes out. Let's put the top back on. I don't know if you can see that the smoke comes out of its head. Can you see that or not? I need a dark background, don't I? Can you see it through that? We can see that now, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it, it's just the fact that the cat's knitting, and we're both cat lovers, and we both love knitting. Yay. Gary liked it as well. It was just well, that's an absolute bonus. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I I got one for you and I got one for myself as well. And they're beautiful. And I actually, do you know what? I lit mine yesterday as well. Isn't that weird? I haven't lit it in months, and I lit it yesterday. <laughs> um, Jackie says the Christmas shopping Bruges is fabulous. Uh, Dawn says, "My uh, sorry, yeah." Dawn says, "My mother-in-law brought some beautiful tree decorations from the Christmas shop in Bruges, when the girls were little. They still put them up each year." Uh, Brigitte says, "Smoke comes out of my head sometimes like that." <laughs> uh, and Rebecca says, "Hers is not as fun, but we have one from Cologne." So, um, right, folks, we are over time. It is. Uh, oh. So uh, don't forget, it's Friday tomorrow. No goggle frogs. Hooray, lay in. Yay. Uh, and then um, we are back Saturday morning where I will be in the office because uh, I can shut the door and Gary and his mum can just get on with it. Uh, so have a lovely afternoon. Have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Angela, have a lovely weekend, uh, lovely Thursday afternoon, Friday morning. Yeah. And um, lovely... on Saturday morning, do you know yet? Sorry? What are you cooking on Saturday morning? Do you know yet? No idea. I'm go that's one of the things that I just need to, to think about. Um, but hopefully it will be um, pizzas. Okay. So hopefully I'll have my own pizza base and something else. So yes, and on Saturday morning show. So if you love all things food and you want to know what it's like to be in the world of gluten-free, or if you are a gluten-free person and you've never watched Angela's cooking show, we'll post a link in the Goggle Frogs Facebook page at some point today for you. So do feel free to join us for that on Saturday morning. You don't see me because I go off camera so Angela can just do her stuff and I just do all the background technical stuff. Oh, thank so, you. Um, we'll see you Saturday. See you Saturday. Happy crafting and knit and crochet lots. Bye.